Hello, good day everyone. It's me, Sir Kevin, and today we'll be discussing uh, the first topic for facilities management. Actually, it's the fundamentals or basics of facilities management. And the last time we had the course overview of what facilities management is, and I've asked you what is a facility and what do you do in a facility, and some of you have answered, uh, it's a place, it's a building, it's a property. It's something that where you operate or facilitate something. And uh, mo um, precisely, those are actually the most related uh, terms in this topic. So, without much further ado, let's start our discussion. No? Balikan lang natin as a review that <clears throat> the theory of management came from the idea in economics of scarcity. You don't uh, you don't manage something if everything is abundant, no? You you uh, you won't manage something is if everything is abundant because you you don't need to choose among the uh, available resources or the uh, scarce resources that you have, no? So uh, bear in mind that in business, no, in every organization we have scarcity and we need to manage something, and one thing that we need to manage is the facility. Let's just go back with the basic uh, factors of production wherein we have the land, labor, capital. These are resources. And as I've told you, as I've introduced that uh, course expectation, no, uh, we started that this is a resource management but in a more specific uh, specific discussion. No? So we have a uh, human resource management that's about uh, the uh, manpower. We have a uh, technical management or technology management or information management. So those are your resources. And then you have uh, facilities management for your land and building and other properties. Okay. So again, as you have told us uh, in the sharing process, that we have to facilitate. We are facilitating something, and a facility or a property is an asset because it could generate or it could help on generating more income or um, the, uh, the, um, minimizing no expenses that you may incur okay so now let's proceed with the uh, with the origin or the history of facilities management facility management is the operational environment needed to support and enhance the organization's core business processes and activities and ito ang pinakapunto no of our resources uh, that it should be related with the core of your business or your key activities of the business. Kapag hindi siya kasali sa mga core activities of your business, baka mali yung investment and baka hindi mo na rin kailangan i-manage yan. So, you need to go back with that. Okay? So, uh, it has evolved over the past 150 years or so and it is originated at, at some time in 1800s when um, the American Railroad companies thought it better to provide the utility of facilities, not merely buildings. So again, facilities management is not just con con confined with a building. It's not just confined with a land, but the use or the management of land and other properties. Kasi hindi yan magiging asset kung wala kang ginagawa. Except if you are pertaining about their real property asset that, ay, eto tumatas yung value, but you can do something to manage that para mas tumas pa yung value niyan. So convert that into a commercial space and the likes. So that's what they call facilities management. Okay? And 40 years ago, no, dating back 40 years ago, uh, there was only brief mention of facilities management because what we have is a resource management. No, Buildings were maintained, serviced, and cleaned because these are part of the core activities of businesses. So that was about it and building maintenance management was arguably the term most commonly identified with the task and yet it is explicitly excluded a role that embraced the softer side of an organization support services. No? So mind you, no, isang isang area ng facilities management is the maintenance, but it that it's not confined with that. No, 40 years ago it's it is known to be like that uh, you you maintain the facility, but no the main goal, again, no, uh, let's go back with the main objective of facilities management, is to assist those those core business activities. Okay, so please uh, be mindful of that. Okay, so what's the uh, what's the definition of facilities management? Okay, so Atkinson, 
defined, facility management encompasses multiple disciplines to ensure functionality of built environment, integrating people, place, process, and technology. So it's about also the management. If you have an objective, so you want to improve services or core activities of your business, no? Uh, you need to integrate all of those resources and one one major um one major um area of that is the uh, the facility because you'll be uh, you'll be managing the property uh the land uh, the uh, the equipment uh there is no kung meron man and then the people within that uh that place no so that's why you are managing a facility remember we are talking about here as facility the process to facilitate Okay, you need to facilitate something. So, uh, pro is production is a facility? Yes. No, it's an activity that you are facilitating something. You are making economic activities. Okay, so it it covers real estate, financial, HR, health, safety, security, and environment. So, uh, dito sa MQC, for example, no sa ating iskwelahan. No? Kasali sa mga facility managers natin ang uh, repairs and maintenance, yung health, yung safety, yung security, security. Again, these are core areas of business, no? You want also your clients to be to feel safe, ne? Uh, you want uh, you want your clients to feel to, to feel safe and even employees to to feel safe in that facility. Okay? That's why you have managers such as those people, no? Okay, so, uh, continuation of the definition. An integrated approach to operating, maintaining, improving, ad and adopting buildings, not just buildings, and infrastructures of an organization in order to create an environment that strongly support the primary objectives mm -hmm. of the organization. Okay? So, it also stresses the importance of integrative in interdependent disciplines whose overall purpose is to support the organization in the pursuit of the business objectives. Di ba? Babalikat, babalikan natin that it assists the core activities of the business. So, you are managing not just the property, you also manage the technical resource, the human, uh, human, uh, human resource of that area or, or that place. Okay, I hope that you're still with me. Okay, so for what facilities management is? Bakit isa siyang disiplina ngayon sa uh, business field? So, uh, please take note of this that most facilities represent substantial investment. No? Uh, hindi mo itatayo yung isang facility no? or isang structure if you don't, you, you, you won't be doing something about it. You won't be facilitating something or creating economic benefit from that no okay so it represents substantial uh, investment uh, for their organizations and usually have to accommodate and support a range of activities taking into account the competing needs so also as part of the operations management you are catering uh, the ever-changing need of the organization so from time to time it up updates no for example right now uh, because uh, safety and health is a concern dati wala namang ano tayo no wala namang uh, ang tawag dito yung flow no kung paano ka papasok ka lalabas sa ano sa isang sa isang establishment no so kasali ang mga processes also in the management of a facility okay please take note of that ang daming nagbabago uh, the environment is changing and uh, so as our management intervention always change Okay, so within those activities in the organization's core business, as I've told you, for which an appropriate environment must be created in a facility that might not have been designed for the use to which it is now put. Okay, diba? Again, it's ever-changing. And yet, no matter how well-focused an organization is on its core business, it cannot lose sight of the services needed to support it. Okay? Also, not just with the core business, your facilities also may assist within non-core activities of the business. No? So, just like uh, yung pinag-uusapan natin yung, uh, yung safety and security dati, ano? it's, not, it's not a thing until, until merong mangyari. No? 
uh, it's not it's not a core kasi the uh, 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 an organization or a business is mean uh, concern is uh, how, how how do you satisfy no yung customer mo no so you need to invest on that but uh, there are also facilities no that uh, assist on non core business activities remember the role of the operations manager here is to implement uh, those uh, marketing strategies that uh, you need to satisfy your customers. So, implementation tayo dyan. Okay? So, um, what are the goals of facilities management? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, it's, it assists, no? Support people in their work and their activities, no? If there will be no facilities management, no? And there's no, uh, there's no manager or people that are supporting uh, the activities of the business no how could it be conducive and how could it be productive in any other way okay so enhance individual well-being uh, enable the organization to deliver effective and responsive uh, services no so they adjust they adapt uh, mapapansin mo marami sa mga negosyo from time to time they change their layout their assemblies and the likes kasali yung pag-aaral diyan ng time and motion studies no halimbawa sa mga uh, mga fast food restaurants so they change the layout of the ano, kasali yan, again sa facilities management so uh, sweat the physical asset that is make them highly cost effective syempre gagatasan mo yung uh, you you make the most out of it no so allow for future change in the provision and the use of space uh, this is one beauty of um, of uh, facilities management ano uh, it should adapt no uh, sa iba't ibang scenario or situation. Okay? Kasi when you fix something, gagastos ka pag binaklas mo yan. And uh, this is why uh, you wonder, why are why the, there are rooms that uh, ganito yung structure? Diba? So, uh, may isip nyo rin. It's part of the facilities management. Okay? Provide competitive advantage to core business activities. No? So, uh, it assists nga sa mga ano natin and it gives more satisfaction and uh, um, more uh, excellent uh, excellent marketing perspective no o yung uh, feeling no ng uh, customers and enhance the organization cultures and image okay so uh, how to make a facilities management uh, basic plan so what are the plan in a, in a facilities management. Of course, uh, the process is you first develop a strategy for facilities management. And that starts with uh, the objective. Of course, what, what will be your objective? Then there you can make a strategy for facility management and determine the most appropriate model for sur- sourcing services. I'll tell you, uh, there are uh, there are other other ways that you can uh, service or or to manage your resources. So, it's, it sometimes doesn't need that uh, you need to do this. You need to provide this. Uh, if you cannot do it, let do uh, let others do it for you. Now that's the concern of number two, three, and I think that number four. No, so uh, where do you source those uh, those uh, resources and the services? No, and then procure the services where outsourcing or co-sourcing applies. No, as I've told you, and deliver the services including mobilization and contract management. No? So, syempre, pipili ka dyan and manage the performance of service providers. Okay? So, ito naman sa maintaining na. Maintaining naman na yun. Okay? So, uh, ito yung ano, ito yung uh, flow ng facilities management. So, you need to develop a facility uh, management strategy and then determine the sources uh, sourcing model. Where will you be getting those resources? Procurement services. If you don't have that resources, where you'll be sourcing that out, no? Sino uh, bibilhan mo? And uh, how to get that? What are the contract? And also, no? Uh, Siyempre, dahil kinuha nyo yan, it doesn't end there. You need to manage performance kasi uh, from time to time, you'll be needing those uh, suppliers. Okay? So, uh, that leads us to facilities planning. Your facilities planning uh, in the use of a facility, whether at the level of routine minor adjustment, or as a part of a major restructuring of the organization. So from the word itself, it's planning prior on managing something. Uh, the first function of management, by the way, is planning. Diba? So <clears throat> if you are doing strategy, you need to 
to plan it first. And then, um, mag, hanggang sa umabot ka sa implementation. So, uh, pagplanuan mo because uh, time and the environment changes uh, changes the situation. And uh, you should adapt with that. So, as a stage within the life cycle of a facility, facility planning services uh, to determine no, uh, to determine if the organization has the most appropriate facility to support its core business. So, you always monitor and uh, check, no? monitor and check uh, if this is still apl- applicable, cost efficient, as well as uh, are, we, are we hitting our objectives, especially towards the customers. Okay? Ay, uh, mali na pindot ko. Anyway, uh, so, uh, what are the core competencies of facilities uh, management? So, successful facilities managers are likely to be those who are able to combine knowledge and skill in facility-related matters within the understanding of organizations, uh, people, and processes. As um, Actually, ang dating is uh, you should be a jack of all trades, ano? Uh, because you should know different dimensions and disciplines such as uh, mga sukat, no uh, mga how to uh, maintain or know how ano know how how to maintain uh, yung mga properties how to move that how to repair or if not do you still do you have idea no whenever uh, ito ay kailangan ng i- maintain so as uh, nakikita niyo sa ating presentation no that uh, it requires multiple and multidisciplinary disciplinary skills in management no combine combining all of those because again uh, a facility doesn't end with a structure ano but uh, it includes syempre financial and also it includes uh, yung ating uh, procurement it includes uh, uh, the maintenance no so kasali and even pala human resource okay so, skill in facility related matters within an understanding of organization, people, and processes. So, all around tayo. So, parang sa MQC, uh, this is the general services office we're in. Kasali nga yung, yung safety and security, yung procurement, yung repairs and maintenance, no? and, and the likes, no? para maservisyuhan. No? Uh, naintindi nila yung tao and the processes were in para mamanage na maayos yung mga resources natin and uh, to sum it up makikita nyo uh, no, uh, finishing our presentation it involves everything no? so di ba sa bahay no? to, uh, to sum it up sa, sa mga bahay natin we manage our we manage our home not just because of the structure no Kasali ang factor ng mga taong kasama natin. Kasali ang budget natin. No? Kasali yung kakayahan ng kaya mong, uh, yung mga kaya mong gawin. No? How to manage that. No? So, question mo kasi, alimbawa, if uh, no one from, from your family can able to, uh, can able to uh, clean or repair this, syempre you'll be out, uh, outsourcing. And that's what they call facilities management or part of the process of facilities management okay so you are involving all these resources and uh, as i as i begin this presentation di ba? Uh, in fact in general it's called resource planning and resource uh, resource management but uh, uh, it's more specific that we that we talk about the property the machine and uh, the integration of people to manage a facility wherein you can create and benefit from economic activities. Okay? Uh, I hope that um, maliwanag na maliwanag ang ating first lesson. And I hope that you learn and enjoy something uh, during this session. If you have questions sa uh, pag-usapan natin sa live session natin. I am sorry for recording this video. No? Uh, ak- um, ililibing ang aking lola ngayong araw. So, please uh, pray for the eternal repose of my uh, grandparent. Uh, okay, so that's it. Uh, I thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on to the next one. God bless us.